Hello everyone, today uh, I would like to talk about the patent searching workshop which we are going to conduct in this coming month. The workshop would be uh, in a time span of four days and it would be a very impressive uh, patent research workshop and it is uh, it will be in a uh, bird's eye view or the legal viewpoint how to uh, perform patentability search, how to perform state of the art searches, validity searches, infringement searches and freedom to operate uh, searches. When we talk about uh, patent research or the kind of research uh, which needs to be done is different in all the aspects. Uh, I would just touch base on few of the pointers where we will be uh, focusing on you know what is a patentability search. So when we talk about a patentability search is like if any person or an innovator or a company has an idea or is doing a research before filing a patent or before filing uh, for protection the company would like to know what is the sort analysis is that in the in simple terms i would say what are the kind of uh, innovations or research which has already happened across the globe what happens is when we talk about you know protecting intellectual property it's 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 really uh, tough it's not very easy to protect every creation of mine yes there are ways and means by which you know you can actually add some pointers and then file a patent application but when we talk about ideas it's creation of mine and it might happen at one point of time the same idea bounces in multiple minds across the globe and the first uh, first very important factor is uh, for an innovation or for an idea to be noble it should be new new in sense it's not that it should be new only in india it has to be new all across the globe so the idea per se should actually qualify that for that we perform a patentability search and the databases which are uh, very very helpful to perform to perform the patentability search is a uh, wipo that is world intellectual property organization so whereby you can actually research the worldwide database then we have eSpaceNet, and then we have uspto and other databases uh, to be uh, taken into consideration many times when we get you know uh, uh, queries regarding you know what kind of databases are you using for performing your any kind of patentability search or any kind of patent research i would rather say i i actually uh, prefer using the non paid tools obviously you know when you are using a paid tool or a paid database it is expensive however you are not using your intellect as a patent attorney or as a you know patent researcher to come up with ways and means to do your research in a manner which suffice the purpose of that particular invention or idea. So that is very, very important. And over the years, I have been able to find out better results uh, by uh, defining the, you know, the kind of scope of work which we uh, uh, plan when we uh, get a query or you know, we get an innovation for which we need to uh, see uh, what kind of patents are there already in the public domain. Obviously, then there's not non-patent literature also but there's no uh, mantra per se where you can say you know this kind of steps would be applicable in all the patent searches what is important is to analyze the uh, crux of the invention or the innovative features of the invention and use your intellect as a patent researcher to you know uh, make the key strings and what kind of key strings will work better and if you have less time how to go about you know doing state of the art searches state of the art searches basically it talks about what kind of innovations have happened in that particular sector uh, say for example you know it can be a solar sector whereby the uh, solar energy is being used to light up a you know lamp or it can be a led sector uh, where uh, we are talking about the packaging of the you know leds to reduce the uh, heat sink capacity so there, there's a lot of uh, innovations which are happening however what is important is to understand what kind of scope of line or you know what kind of parameters are you going to take into consideration as a pattern researcher so over the span of four days uh, we would be uh, discussing a lot on different kind of technologies is not that you know you have to be an expert in a particular technology to do a pattern research because per se you're not a scientist what I feel personally is, uh, though I come from a varied background of applied science honors, I have been able to uh, perform searches in all sectors. Obviously, when you talk about, you know, if you're a scientist or you are a PhD in a particular topic, 
it will take less time to understand the technology. But at the same time, as a patent researcher or as a patent attorney, one should understand your job is to identify the innovative feature. And when I talk about innovative feature is that it is a feature of three, four parameters, not more than that. And for that, the acumen should be of that of a researcher and a techno legal domain. Obviously, understanding the legalities is helpful when you are responding to office action response. And office action response is basically a patent examiner when he actually research, uh, you know, when he performs his uh, search on a particular invention, he'll come up with objections. So as a patent uh, expert or as a patent attorney, you need to respond to those objections. So that's a part uh, of a different uh, workshop which we would be uh, doing in the coming months. To start with, we'll be, uh, as I said, we'll be uh, talking in detail and how different kind of strategies can be applied. As I said, there's no one strategy uh, which would be applicable to all searches. But of course, uh, the key takeaway from the workshop would be that you would be able to understand what are the parameters I should actually look when I'm doing the research. So what is the advantage of doing this, you know, this kind of workshop when we talk about what, what, what's there in for me as a, you know, as an attendee, um, I would say, you know, right now India is at a level whereby multinationals are coming in India. So there's a lot of job opportunities which are going to be there. And if you're already, you know, in the league of understanding what a patent research is, and if you can help the companies uh, with their, you know, day to day activities, whereby a lot of research is being uh, performed by the scientists, but they have no clue whatsoever, you know, what kind of research is of prime importance, what kind of research should be finished first, what kind of research is being done by competitors so there's a lot of job opportunities in this area and uh, obviously you know once you know like this is the kind of work i have learned so you can actually apply it in your day-to-day -day activities also and uh, not only multinational companies now the domestic companies are also protecting their uh, patents so again a job opportunity is there being a scientist also if you want to you know shift over from wet lab to uh, dry lab it's it's you know, working on internet is just like a dry lab uh, research uh, whereby you are logged on to internet and you're doing your research activities so it will be a very fruitful session and i look forward uh, to meeting you guys and the girls across uh, and if you have any questions, uh, please feel uh, free to uh, shoot us a mail and we would be happy to assist you. And we look forward to uh, do some uh, very uh, in-depth patent research work in the coming days. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.